hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of a recursive function it's just a function that calls itself that's all what recursive function is all about so what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C++ tutorial and we put one of these together you guys see how it's all done so let's do that now guys okay let's exit out and start a new project entirely I'm going to go straight to file here and let's select new select project and in there I'm going to click on console application click on next and let's click on next again select C++ so let's give that a name I'm just going to call it T recursive function that's the T stands for triangle Okay, recursive. Let's just enter function to it as well. There we go. And click on next. And next again. Okay, let's click on the source folder here. Double click on the main. And right in here, the very first thing that I'm going to do right underneath here. I'm going to create a variable so that variable the data type is going to be of an integer value and I'm going to call it input and let's increase the font size as well so that you guys can see it and there so the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to then create a function I'll call that function create underscore triangle And my triangle function is going to take in the following. I'll call that int add underscore length. That will be the length of my triangle. And in here, enter coily braces. Now let's use an if statement. If add length is less than one then open up a coily brace it return there and right underneath the if statement i'm now going to create let's say create triangle right here i'm now calling my function to take care of some action for me to create triangle that would be add length the, the length is going to be minus 1 yeah add length minus 1 now let's use a for loop underneath here 4 and we add an integer there for int i equals 0 column i less than add length and we just say i plus plus come out of it enter coil braces and now in here I'm now going to say c out c out can be whatever you want it to be in this case that's what the system is going to print out for me I'm just going to call that maybe x and that is fine and just enter C out end line so that will go to the next line for me now we now need to come into this main function here let's get rid of this inside the main function we now want to prompt the user to enter a value or enter the triangle enter the triangle size something like that or triangle length length all right and c in to take in the input whatever i entered should be taken in by this and let's end that as well then we now want to get hold of our Creates this function 
this function now is now going to call itself here this is what recursive is all about call okay you can see the function is now calling itself and that and that is all there is to it okay I think I am done let's enter semicolon here all right those are the last the lines of code so I'm going to now try it out so you guys can have a good look, good look at it from up here down here and I'm going to move it on so let's try it out now come in here build and run let's see oh that's successful so let's enter whatever in there I'm going to make that maybe 9 there look at that it's just printed out the X triangle and let's increase the size of that run it again and I'm going to make that maybe about 30 press enter look at that guys and that's how you create your own triangle okay you can also change this to whatever you want that is square bracket run it and let's see so I'm gonna make that about 40 there look at that guys so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and you all have a nice day now and bye for now